Did you know that there are some kitchen scraps that you can regrow? There are important factors to keep in mind to see a high level of success. You won't have much luck with vegetables such as cucumbers, tomatoes, and squash simply because they need different nutrients and different temperature requirements. Given the right conditions, many can produce wonderful and tasty edible food. Celery, lettuce, green onions, carrots, beets, and leeks are all popular vegetables that can be regrown. All you do is chop the parts off that you normally don't eat and place in water. Put those in a well-lit area and watch them grow. Many vegetables that can be regrown can only use water that is consistently being cleaned. But you get to a certain point and the vegetables start to show signs of distress. That is when I either begin growing hydroponically or put the vegetable in dirt and grow it from there. Hydroponics is a little different than what I made a video on previously. The previous video was on aquaponics. Hydroponics requires adding nutrients to the water. We have rabbits on our homestead, so making rabbit poop tea isn't difficult. You may be thinking this is absolutely gross, but it works and it works very well. The rabbit poop gives the vegetables grown in water needed nutrients and fertilizes the regrown vegetables. In an SHTF situation, you won't be able to purchase the chemical nutrients needed for hydroponics. Why would you want to anyways? That is chemicals. My motto is to do it the natural way and the free way. You can grow the other things I mentioned, however, with celery and carrots, they each are biennial plants, which means they will die back after the second year. They will grow lots of leaves that second year, but not necessarily the actual stalk. But that is okay. You can use the carrot greens for garnish or pesto, and you can even make your own celery salt from dried celery leaves. To demonstrate, I have grown romaine lettuce. They like cooler weather, which makes it perfect to grow this time of year. Hotter weather will make lettuce bolt and go to seed. I put the cut lettuce scrap into water, but first I like to insert toothpicks to ensure I have the water level just perfect on the lettuce scrap piece. I fill with non chlorinated water just up to the base of the lettuce. If you go any farther, it will begin rotting. After the first couple of days, I begin using the rabbit poop tea and it begins growing very quickly. The measurements for the tea is one quart of water to an eighth of a cup of smashed rabbit poop that is placed in a cheesecloth and aerated with a fish aquarium bubbler for two to three days. This is only two weeks worth. You can see the growth from day one. Please note that once the lettuce gets so large, you can take the toothpicks out and put the lettuce directly into the container to ensure the stability. Water the lettuce minimally each day to prevent rotting at the base. The main takeaway here is to experiment. See what works best for you under the conditions that you have. If you don't have rabbits and don't want to grow hydroponically, stick with just plain water. See where that takes you. It will grow for quite a while with just plain water. Just have fun with it. I hope you have gathered information from this video to expand your vegetable growing knowledge. I appreciate you watching this video. Please continue to help me help you by liking, sharing, and subscribing.